Wow. Activision is back at it again, guys, showing their true colors and further strengthening my point about the fact that Activision absolutely hates the Call of Duty community. Now, you clicked on this video, you saw the thumbnail, you probably know what I'm talking about, but for people who are out of the loop, H2M is a mod for Modern Warfare Remastered. It was essentially Modern Warfare 2 2009 reimagined in the Modern Warfare Remastered engine. They used assets from MW2 Campaign Remastered mastered, brought them over, they fixed things like one man army noob tubes, etc, etc. And it was a passion project that a lot of PC players were looking extremely forward to. Now, before you click off this video and you get all upset and you're like, this doesn't affect me. I don't really care about this. It's a niche PC mod. Well, stick around to the end of the video because I have some points here that I think can open some eyes for people. Now, of course, there's always going to be people in here that white knight and defend Activision, which is how people are in this community. They just love licking boots. It's their favorite thing to do. But either way, I'll just get straight straight into the tweet. So the first one here that we have to talk about is from Shilly Intel, everybody's favorite Call of Duty shill. And it says, Breaking, Activision has sent a cease and desist letter to the H2 multiplayer mod, requiring them to take down the mod that would have added Modern Warfare 2 2009 content to Modern Warfare Remastered on PC. It's also followed up by a tweet here. Basically, if you're somebody who bought this on Steam during the sale and you want your money back, well, you're pretty much out of luck unless you've played under two hours because Shilly Intel's reporting that. For those who purchased Modern Warfare Remastered, on Steam in order to play this mod. If you played Modern Warfare Remastered for less than two hours, Steam could potentially refund. The big word there is potentially check Steam refund policy. Now, of course, there's a big uproar here and people were really upset with the fact that they bought the game on sale hoping that they'd be able to play this mod and it got cease and desisted. Now for me, the biggest thing that I'm kind of concerned with is there seems to be a lot of reaction online with people and just people in my discord, anybody in general that are just, they seem surprised by this. They seem surprised that Activision would pull some bullshit like this because they absolutely hate their community. Now, before you say it, before you get your keyboard warrior fingers all warmed up and leave a comment in the comment section telling me, well, dev, it's their own property. They could do do what they want. They're allowed to legally take down the game. Yes, yes, yes. I'm well aware that Activision owns the remaster and people tinkering with it. Yes, they can get it taken down. We've seen this with the SM2 client. We saw this with all of the X Labs client. And as it stands right now, plutonium seems to be the only thing that's actually, you know, up and going and actually staying, which it's a fucking surprise to me that that is still staying up. Now, I'm not complaining. And of course, Activision will be Activision. And I would not be surprised if Plutonium got shut down. But back when they were doing the X Labs and the SM2 shutdowns, they didn't touch Plutonium. Like I said, for any unknown reason, I don't know why the fuck they didn't touch it, but they didn't. So the only real mod that we have left is Plutonium, right? And for me, it's not even, you know, the fact that they took this down. It's not even the fact that they cease and desisted this game that makes me so upset. It's the fact that this game was on fucking sale and they waited until people spent all this fucking money and then they just jacked their sales up and then they hit them with the cease and desist. So let's just run that through our brain here. Let it just simmer in there for a second, right? Activision is well aware of this mod, right? There was a lot of hype leading up to this. Twitter was all in shambles over this. Everybody was all excited. Oh my God, I get to play Modern Warfare 2 Remastered again. This is fucking phenomenal. Nominal. And there was people on there saying, well, we're not going to get cease and desisted. Even the creators of the mod themselves said, we're not going to get cease and desisted because we're complying with what Activision wants. We're making it so you have to purchase the game because a lot of these clients had issues with piracy and stuff, right? They would include the files and you could just download the game and play it there. That I kind of understand. You don't really want as a big company, if you look at it from their side, I get it. You don't want people pirating your product. You want them buying it, right? And Plutonium did this too where they actually provided a pirated version and that was kind of taken off a little bit later and their page was updated with you have to purchase the game, right? So the H2 mod makers were actually in this, you know, kind of limbo where they were like, we think it's not going to get season insisted because you kind of have to buy the game. Not kind of, you do have to buy the game. And people were like, yeah, this is great. But Activision will do Activision things, right? You have people in this community and that could be content creators. That could just be people in comment sections, etc. That sit here and 
and talk down on people like me and blame truth and other content creators that complain about Call of Duty, right? And tell you not to buy the fucking game. And we don't play the shit anymore. And people call us hypocrites for that. We don't know. You don't even know. You haven't played the game. You don't know. Oh, man, 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 man. And whine and cry up a fucking wall. And then shit like this happens. It's not even the fact that they cease and desist it. I will reiterate. It's not even about the fact that they cease and desist it. It's about the fact that they put the game on sale. They allowed people to buy the fucking game. People that wouldn't have bought this game otherwise. They wouldn't have bought this game and wasn't for the mod. They let you buy the game. And then as soon as the sale's over, they pull the fucking rug from underneath you. And the amount of people that didn't see this coming and are acting surprised about this. Let's look at the track record of Activision. We have Black Cell. We have various different clients that were shut down, completely eliminated off the face of the planet. We have bundles. We have the 4th of July bundle in Modern Warfare 2019 that they re-released in Modern Warfare 2 for a higher price while shutting down Warzone Caldera. They shut down Warzone 1. They shut down the first Warzone and then they decided to sell you the same bullshit in the next game so you could buy it again. But they didn't keep it the same price. They charged you more money. All you have to do, you don't even have to be a fucking genius to see this. You just gotta recognize pattern recognition. This company is the biggest scumbag company in the fucking world. And the amount of people that don't realize that, and the amount of people that come to my videos, and the amount of content creators that make content and say that there's all this fake hate for Call of Duty. No, there's not fake hate for Call of Duty. I don't hate Treyarch. I kind of do hate Infinity Ward. I don't hate Sledgehammer games. They can make a good product, but the message that I'm trying to convey to all of my viewers constantly on a consistent basis is the fact that Activision fucking hates you. It hates little Timmy. It hates this high skilled player. It hates everybody. They are milking you like a mother fucking slot machine. And half of the fucking Call of Duty community just doesn't even see it. Now, I apologize for my language in this video. I'm just a little bit triggered by this whole thing. And genuinely, this entire rant and everything that I'm saying right now is coming from the bottom of my fucking heart. Like, I did not want to see this mod fail. I know how hard these people worked on this mod. And I also also don't want to see, even if you're somebody who hates me, thinks I'm annoying, leaves hate comments on my videos, I don't want to see you get your money stolen from you just for Activision to do a cease and desist. Now this begs the bigger question, right guys? What does this mean for Black Ops 6? There's people on here that like to say that Black Ops 6 is like the second coming of Jesus Christ and that I myself can't say anything bad about the game because I haven't played it and I've only seen gameplay and yada 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 and want to sit there and huff all the fucking copium they can in the world. But the fact of the matter is, like I've stated numerous times, and I'll reiterate for the people in the back, Black Ops 6 could be the greatest fucking COD we've had in the last 10 years. But the fact of the matter is, Activision's greasy, dirty little fucking fingerprints are gonna be all over it. It's gonna be an EOMM infested mess. It's gonna be full of fucking microtransactions and bundles. They're probably gonna push this further. The servers are gonna suck. It's gonna be full of fucking cheaters. And people are gonna be sitting there crying two, three months after release. They're gonna come to my video and say, oh Dev, you were right. I should have listened to you. I'm just done, man. I genuinely want everybody in this community to enjoy what they do, right? If you enjoy the new Call of Duties and you have fun doing that, knock yourself out. But the fact of the matter is, there is a huge conglomerate corporation behind all of this and when the publisher is actively trying to fuck their player base and fuck their consumers honestly I can't stand behind that let me know how you guys feel in the comment section below if you enjoyed today's video make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel if you're new and don't forget to turn that notification bell on so you never miss when I upload a video and I catch everybody in the next one peace I've been feeling weird I can't seem to focus good enough nothing's really clear sometimes it could be a little tough